Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly read for August. I've got some channeled messages for you. We'll start with them first. It's from your guides and angels. So, a peace treaty will be created. The relationship will flourish and go from strength to strength. Peace will prevail. Beware the dog. Go for what you want. Now is the time. Now, it looks like there's, uh, what I was getting uh, when I was channeling these messages beforehand is uh, there's some uh, relationship that hasn't been going well. This can be love, this can be business, like a partnership of some kind, could even be friendship. Um, and it's imperative that this relationship works. I'm actually getting somebody with an arranged marriage as well. Um, and it's like you both want it to succeed, but you have different ideas about things. And it's about coming together and compromising. Uh, a peace treaty will be created. You're both going to have to give a little bit to actually make this work. And it will work. Okay. So, and you're also being asked to go for what you want. Now is the time. It's business and career in particular. Beware the dog, though. There may be some hidden uh, challenges that you haven't thought about. Okay. No, I want the one on the bottom. Oh, yeah, these hidden challenges. Uh, dark spell we've got here. Uh, somebody is jealous. Somebody uh, is coveting what you have. Be careful. This could be in this relationship that you're trying to get to work. Um, be careful. Somebody's watching, wants to take it. There's something of yours. It, I'm getting invention. Some sort of creation of yours that somebody is trying to take and you may be aware of this. And they're asking you to be a bit more vigilant and put some more safeguards in. Okay. I'm getting more business. Copyright, something like this. Could be a book, could be anything. Okay. And I want the one off the top. Yeah. Because look, we've got the evil queen, which is jealousy. Uh, jealousy. Somebody's after what you want you it's almost like <laughs> looking at this yeah this is mine okay jealousy somebody around you is very jealous uh there is a woman figure here now my readings are not gender specific but for somebody out here it's uh, as a woman wants to, <laughs> wants to take your man okay and you you'll know who you are uh they're asking you to be a bit more vigilant um because this woman won't give your partner what they want and to, to trust your partner more because uh you know they may be flattered but they're not going to go for her they know what she is this person almost has a bit of a reputation there's a man here as well it does that it goes from one to the other and then just drops them yeah so just to be but there's also something that needs to be copyrighted oh you need to watch your copyright Okay. Okay. So, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps the channel if you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Please bear in mind that it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Okay. I do personal readings. If you want a personal reading, I do angel life path readings. I also do empowerment coaching if you need help getting your goals out there and you know being successful with your goals and wanting to change your life of business career you may be over 50 need help that way uh whatever it is uh i'm an empowerment coach i can help you do it also i've got an energy vampire around you and um i also do awakening coaching if you need help with your awakening and i do awakening and psychic development coaching which is my big thing i can help you uh develop your gifts because i'm a psychic medium okay so yeah Ooh. somebody is uh yeah is it this relationship coming into synergy coming in uh to sync getting uh, together but there's a lot of um anger it can't be based on anger it needs to be based on love there's an energy vampire look at this person trying to cover um oh look what I, i'm look looking at something you have that they want they're an energy vampire some of you may be empaths and you're being drained and you're really feeling it at the moment 
but there's somebody around you that needs to be watched here somebody's after something you have get that woman again but there's definitely energy vampires energy vampires with your work i'm not sure what's going on there um but you need to come into sync with some two heads are better than one i'm getting but not this sort of ah but two heads are better than one Okay, so this relationship needs to work. It will be successful if both of you give to it and both of you make it grow. It won't be successful if you try to do it alone. Now, I know people out there go, oh, you can do anything alone. I had somebody comment on our, my other channel about that once. Uh, yeah, you can, but in this case, they're advising you two heads are better than one. So I'm just a messenger. <laughs> okay. Have another look here and see what we can get. <laughs> There's something you're storing away. I've got whiskey here. It may be that you want a whiskey. I don't know. The universe is asking you to store away, but you're also keeping something hidden, something um, of great value hidden. And your guides and angels, the I will see the candles as guides and angels, okay, are um, they're guarding these things for you. But these are um, parts of your soul that you haven't uncovered yet. And these are all gifts and ideas uh, that can help you. And the universe is calling your attention to them. I mean, I will see the crow as the universe landing on your head there. <laughs> Okay, and it's which one you're going to choose. And it, it looks like you're going to choose one or you're going to sample um, one of your gifts and put it to the test to see if, whether or not uh, that you're um, capable of using it. I read the tarot intuitively and I channel messages from the cards for an illustration of the messages I get. So, um but they're asking you to take a look at the other ones. Don't just dismiss them and go for one. Go for a few and blend them together. Um, looking at the leaves on here. So this is autumn time. You may be given an opportunity to use these gifts. I'm in tarot reading, uh, spiritual gifts. It could be hidden talents that you've kept since you're a child. or something to do with drawing or architecture or um, drawing to scale. And then something is dying off here. Something that you've done is dying off or you've finished a project. There's college here. There's something that's dying off and you need to come um, into do, using these other gifts. Something hasn't worked and they want you to delve deeper. It's like these are hidden in the cellar. Things you've forgotten about from the past and they want you to have a look at that. It's almost like, I, which is Rosary, I, I look at that and it's almost like doing a seance to get in touch with your inner self. And to find out, look at the guides and angels are with you. Um, and looking into your spiritual gifts, it's again, it's going with this card to me. Okay, looking at what you can do, not looking at what you've lost, looking what you can do. Tapping into hidden inner knowledge, a past life work could be on the cards here as well. Okay, I've got one more. Yeah, because I'm getting ritual. Um, it's almost like you're coming into spiritual gifts, coming into something of great value, uh, great richness in you, um, hidden knowledge. Uh, and they're asking you to be a bit more um, adventurous and maybe learn some new knowledge as well, build on some knowledge from the past to create business. Uh, so I'm getting a shop for somebody to sell things uh, something you've always wanted to do They're asking you to keep focus with the hand this could be a healer as well you're definitely being guided there i spread your wings and fly and there's almost like you're being watched to fly in the wall somebody's watching your progress and watching you bloom like a mentor or somebody who's trying to pull you through um it's like you've had a dark night of the soul some darkness shadow work whatever a rough time and they're trying to guide you maybe somebody you know all older man so i'm getting archangel metatron even for some people um guide you through into this new um state of 
being. It's something in the blood. This could be inherited because I'm seeing the blood in this. Now we had the vampire before as well. So watch. Somebody is also watching and could uh there's definitely somebody trying to steal something from you. Something of worth, so be careful. Um Pomegranate is hid, hidden knowledge, hidden richness in you, hidden treasure. It's almost like a gift through blood, through inheritance. Could be money, but I'm getting more. Um, it could be like you're a seer. I'm getting, oh, you know, um, psychic medium, something like that. But careful, because somebody's coveting your gift. Somebody's coveting your treasure. Somebody's coveting something you have created and your partner. So, uh, be very well. I'm getting really, yeah, that's really strong. and It's quite dangerous. So be careful. This person won't stop at anything. So protect yourself. That would explain one of the human symbols I've, I've created here for you. Right, we'll have an angel card. See what confirmation we'll go with the tarot. Yeah, okay. Bullying prevention angel. So somebody around you who is trying to uh, gossip, get something of yours and is trying to uh, push you out of a job, try to get your uh, job, your position, push you out of your partner and you feel pretty bullied. But this person has some dominance over you. Somebody at work or this could be a narcissistic person around you. There's definitely some bullying. It doesn't matter what age you are. There's definitely some bullying and your angels are coming in to help with that. I'm going to take one more at the top. Yeah, some of you travel on the card. Some of you are um, being asked to move out for a job, move move on. Uh, but some of you are asked to travel and, and find out. It's almost like this journey you go on traveling. Could be backpacking, could be anything. Um, it also could be traveling to the mind and finding out about who you are and your hidden gifts as we've revealed. But um, it's travel to a destination that shows you, who it opens you up. And it, it shows you what you're, ca you're capable of, of who you are. Um, I was getting this as well for um, Taurus. So you might want to take a look at that reading if you've got Taurus on your your chart. Um, definitely travel. I, uh, this could be astral travel as well. Travel with the angels. There's com communication coming in from the angels here for you. Yeah, because it's a very witchy vibe. Look at that. You could be coming into your gifts, dabbling into it, changing your religion. Uh, um, this could be a story. Somebody's writing a story. Halloween story. There's something about witches. I'm hearing a witch cat, cackle, the Wizard of Oz. Um, yeah, there is somebody around you. There could even be somebody who's employing. We got it, didn't we? Now, I, I find this odd, which is rosary, but it looks like a ritual, doesn't it? Um, so careful with that. I don't know if somebody's creating little witch dolls to hang up in a shop to sell and you're going to open up in a Halloween week. It's going to be very successful. The end of September, I think you're you're going to get deeds to the shop, co co covenants, I don't know. or your I'm getting covenants deeds. It's almost like you're on the little broom. You, I don't know. You're designing things. Um, look, there's something, but it's a little bit of dark magic. I don't know if you're on the. If you're you're doing that or somebody else is doing that, so just be a little bit careful because there's somebody very jealous of you here. Once had that with a friend who um, opened up a, a flower shop and she um, uh, discovered that there was uh, this woman across the road who had a shop. She had a crystal shop and she was a witch. And um, hey, I'm into witch stuff. I love it. So don't, you know. But she was, um, it was... Sort of uh, acknowledge that she um, dabbled in things and could things she shouldn't have been dabbling in. 
And I actually, when I went to the shop, um, I saw somebody who was in the shop who was spying for her spirit. And I chased them out. <laughs> I've, I've chased a few spirits out. <laughs> if you ever need that. <laughs> on my website. <laughs> um, and you don't have to be there. You can, you can do it over Zoom. Um, anyway, uh -uh. that's what I'm saying. Just be careful. Let's go into the tarot. Yeah, because look, justice is coming in. You will have justice and you will have balance. Some of you have been out of whack, out of balance health-wise, whatever. Um, that is going to come into balance. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. If you have any worries, go and see your doctor. There's some balance in a the situation. There's going to be some justice. Something that this bullying, there's definitely going to be some justice in that. There's justice coming to this person. I don't know if they're going to lose their job or something. Somebody's aware. Somebody's watching from a distance. They know what they're doing and they don't like it. I don't know if it's a sexual harassment thing or something like that. I've mean, done that before. Had that to go through. So it's something, could be something like that. And then some of you are wondering, which way do I go? What do I do? But you have all these things open to you. Uh, knowledge again. Look, they want you to dive deeper and you'll find the thing that works for you. Okay. You have a lot of gifts. Okay. I'm going to try the angel tarot here. I do have an affirmation for you. The affirmation is, I am all that I need. So all those resources that you're looking for outside of yourself, they're inside yourself. You've been in that energy of looking externally. They want you to look inwards. The, look at all these gifts. Yeah. How do I choose the right ones? Some of you are asking. Well, dabble in them and then see which one gives you that elated feeling in your body. And we do it. Have the nine of pentacles yes uh, look at that she looks totally independent it, you know um together with stuff she's capable of protecting herself protecting her money everything uh marching forward um it's almost like she's championing a cause for somebody's so like charity work here something like that um capable of doing everything at the moment some of you feel like you couldn't do that but you can't you can't fend for yourself. You can't leave and you can't do it yourself. That's a message for someone. Um, identifies traitors. Sorry, it's the light here after. Identifies traitors and destroys their plans. So you've got the backing of this angel. Okay. So definitely somebody's going to be exposed for what they're doing. And they're going to be thrown out like the five pentacles. Uh, these have this mentality. They um, believe they can't get what they want, so they have to take other people's. They, they don't believe they have the gift of creation, but they do. Uh, some of you are going to have to work with crystals and herbs. Definitely some spiritual gifts coming in here. I think, again, this shop's going to sell crystals and herbs. If you're thinking about it, they want you to go for it. Uh, we've got Page of Pentacles. Definitely want you to go for it. This is a spiritual business for someone. And this shop... You will be successful. Um, yeah, it's almost like you'll have to do a lot of social me media work, though. If you do all of that, you will be successful. Obviously, you know, nothing's guaranteed these days. <laughs> yeah, uh, but there's a great chance you will be successful. But crystals and herbs, some of you like nutrition, something like that. Um Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of stability coming in. I keep saying that somebody's trying to undermine you again. But, and they're putting a light on the bully and uh, call for me. Somebody's trying to undermine you. And the angels are coming in and they're finding a way to get rid of this person because this is your life path. You have to go forward. I don't know if there's a bank, something to do with a bank and a bank loan that it feels like you have to jump through too many hoops, but they're helping you bring that um, through. They want you to get more knowledge. So this could be further course of study or just some research. They're going to point you in the right direction so you can make something that you're doing on your own very successful. Some of you are being guided to go off on your own because there are too many obstacles and blocks where you're working. Okay. Right. 
I'm just just gonna um, check on some uh, whew, flower remedy cards to see what uh, spirit are gonna be helping you with. Uh, if you take black flower, black flower, <laughs> black flower remedies, um, you know, uh, read all the restrictions before you do. I don't think there are any, but please check on the bottle if you're pregnant or you have, you know, if you're not sure. Uh, with what you have, if you have any health problems. So we have Honeysuckle. That's from Full Bloom, that. So they're going to help you with commitment. And uh, if you took it, an interest in the present. So some of you have been stuck in the past. So they're going to help you move into the present. It, it's stuck in the past. Well, this didn't work for me. I don't know what else to do. Well, they're asking you to do a deep dive. Okay, and we have cherry plum. Is that cherry? I can't read this stupid writing. Cherry plum, I think. Okay. Again, purity, a lot of cleansing, purity, any toxicity they're moving out of you. Okay. Um, composure, it's going to help you with feeling uh, secure and self. Uh, I was going to say self centered. But it's not. Why am I saying self-centered? Or well, this person's self-centered. They want you to think a bit more about yourself as well. And have a bit love, a bit more love. But this person's self-centered. No, this is self-control. So having control. It's like some of you doubt that you can have control over your environment. I'm getting another oh another two here. I don't know why. But they want to get a message across to you. We have um century. Okay, I think you can take up to three um, of these, but assertive and strength. Yeah, you need to be assertive with this person. Face them head on if you have to, but not in a constructive manner to have a, somebody with you uh, and leave. Somebody has to leave someone and that's your being assertive. I'm saying I'm not going to take this anymore. Um, obviously, use your discernment with that. Okay, so this is gorse. This is a um, yellow again for the um, solar plexus, which is about, you know, self-control, uh, sovereignty of the self, yeah? Renewed hope, faith. Have renewed hope and faith in yourself that you can provide answers to your problems, okay? So, I um, for peace in this relationship, I've got to go back to that, but it's not for peace, for you to have peace, peace in arguments, uh, to be assertive and to feel safe and protected. Your guys and angels will be with you. But I, if it's somebody who you're not very sure of or what they're going to do, please, you know, involve somebody who needs to help you. You could be the police, could be somebody uh, with you. Yeah, because you're going to have to speak your truth. It's time to speak your truth and say what, how you're feeling. But please make sure you're safe and doing it, angel of truth, and act on your truth. Okay, so I'm going to help you do that. Now, my healing is my own. It's like Reiki, uh, but I have symbol, symbols that I create for specific situations for, for people. Um, if you're interested in this healing, please contact me um, on my email address, which will be in the description, because I'm thinking about offering it all over Zoom and stuff. But um, I want to um, yeah, help you find peace. But I, I, I use I use my own symbols, it's my own energy. It's coming from right here. I've actually seen the symbols on me. And I see them flowing out. And when I, I create the symbols, like I'll show you here the daft little symbols here and I do that uh, to channel the energy that I have I'm told by spirit this is how I heal so when I have angelic reiki I have um, Usi reiki everything but here we go so if you don't want it just say no thank you okay so I start on so we have focus I will sometimes draw them differently. There we have. Okay. And that is 
centre, coming back to centre. Okay, then we have calm and tranquility. Let me know if this works for you. Okay, and then we have protection and warmth. If anybody wants me to do a video of the healing with this, please let me know. I can make it EMR. Yeah, yes, I'm all done. Protection and warmth. Protection and warmth. Protection and warmth. Okay, and I'm just gonna finish off. Okay, so. I hope that helped you. Let me know if it did. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I have a couple of other channels you may be interested in. Uh, one about me and my guides. I see shadow people and all the things I see in world channel messages. That's Sarah and the Shadow Men. I have Witch Angel, which is healing. Uh, all the details are in the um, description. As this. Sorry, I'm going to get lots of taps here, but that was just the kettle. Um, if you um, want empowerment coaching with anything life coaching, uh, please check it out on my website. Again, if you want help with your awakening or you want to develop your psychic medium gift, I can get you there. Uh, please contact me. Links in the description. Okay, take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time.